Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another Windows tip of the week and in this tip I'm gonna be taking a look at rain meter rain meter displays Customizable skins like memory and battery power RSS feeds and weather forecasts right on your desktop Many of the skins are fully functional meaning you can take control of notes your media player and launch your favorite applications All in a clean unobtrusive interface as stated on their site rainmeter.net you are only limited by your imagination and creativity its interface is extremely easy to set up and use, it looks great on my desktop, and I love the fact that you can keep an eye on system usage like CPU and RAM, as well as pull up RSS feeds for my favorite sites. Heck, I can even search Google right from my desktop. It has a very nice simple interface, and you can choose from a variety of skins. There are thousands of skins available, crafted by a large and ever-growing community of Rainmeter users at sites such as DeviantArt.com and Customize.org. It's open source so you can even code and create your own skins. In my opinion, this totally beats Windows gadgets. When I first installed it, I thought it was awesome. It's a very simple interface and doesn't really take up many resources to run. People in their forums are always happy to help you get started and answer questions. You can get the latest version 2.2 which was just released yesterday, the 8th of January. It includes various updates you can see at the site, rainmeter.net. Again, it's open source software distributed free of charge and is available for Windows 7, Vista, and XP, both 32 and 64 bit. And it also supports up to 35 languages. There you have it. If you've been looking for a great free desktop interface, check out Rainmeter. If you already have Rainmeter or are trying it out, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Well, that's it for this week's Windows tip. Thanks to Mafia EAE or Mafia E for suggesting this. Hopefully, you found it useful. You can always subscribe to this channel for free weekly tips and tutorials just like this one. Also, if you have any suggestions for Windows tips, go ahead and leave those in the comments below as well. Again, I hope this helped. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. Follow at Rob's Productions on Twitter and like us on Facebook.